Hello there and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, catching up here because of course Star Wars Celebration just happened and there's been a lot of news, some trailers and I haven't really had time to look at all of it. Uh, I definitely haven't had time to check out some of these trailers. So that, that's what I'm going to do now, and then I'm sure I'm going to have a few things to, to say about it. Both Kat and I have, of course, you know, reacted to the first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi. They're both up on the channel now if you want to check those out. So that's, you know, that's why I've been a little bit busy during the weekend, and then there was also some family stuff. Um, but now, as I said, I, I can finally catch up a little bit on some of this exciting, exciting stuff. Um, and the way I'm going to be doing it inside of this video is I'm going to do the, the trailer reactions first, uh, just a couple of them, Andor, and then the sequel to uh, Jedi Fallen Order, a game that I enjoyed very, very much. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm extremely curious about uh, both the, the game and, and the series Andor as well and, and what they have in store for us uh, and then after that there's been some some more news uh, about um like ahsoka for example and the mandalorian season three and some, some newly announced series as well some castings uh, so i'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well at the at, at the end of the video or just give uh give my thoughts um on some of the stuff uh, that that I've noticed, at least you know, coming out from uh, coming out from celebration, and and just quickly with the celebration, yeah, I wish I could have been there, but it wasn't in the cards this year. Last time I attended a, a Star Wars celebration that was uh, in London in two thousand and sixteen, so way back when we were just like waiting for Rogue One to come out. Uh, and, and now, of course, um, there's, uh, there's been so much more since then and with all the series um, and the landscape of Star Wars just uh, it looks different <laughs> than it did last time I attended a Star Wars celebration. But it, it's, a, it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan in general, I would say. But anywho, that's going to be enough talking for me for now, at least. Uh, let's get into the first trailer and or teaser trailer. Um, yeah, let's see what they have for us here. Well, you guys have already seen the trailer, so now it's just me. But Let's jump into it. Here we go. That's loud. <laughs> nice. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's gonna be a lot of Empire stuff in this series, of course. They're everywhere. They're watching me now. Hey, modern Mon Mothma. Soon enough, these days will end. Hey! Holy oh, shit, Stellan's Casco. Wow, that looks amazing! August thirty first. That's that's uh that's just in a a little while, a couple of months or something. Damn, that trailer was really really interesting. It actually didn't focus that much on Andor himself. You know, that's the the name of the series. It it 
it feels like it's going to be focusing on a bunch of different characters and showing us stuff from both sides of the conflict uh, with, with people rising up and these rebel cells and all that, because it is still like before the rebel alliance came together. And then, of course, the Empire was quickly taking over everything in the galaxy and, and, and bringing peace and order and all that. But... Yeah, a bunch of uh, actors I I recognized that's for sure, and and some characters characters I recognized, locations perhaps, uh, but but it it really seems like this this series is gonna give us a lot of different perspectives, and I for one am like I'm I'm really excited about that and looking forward to that because like we're playing around in a time period that we are sort of familiar with and it's a time period they're exploring more and more at the moment but there's there's going to be a bunch of new characters as well and and that is something in general that that I've I like that they're doing uh, at Lucasfilm and, and I hope they do more of that. Like even though we just got Obi-Wan Kenobi and that's with a lot of legacy characters and um, characters we already, we already like, we feel about them in a certain way and, and we have certain expectations. But again, like even though this is in a, in a familiar time period, uh, it's gonna have those new elements to it um, that that will be able to surprise people more, and I think yeah that that that's a good thing, and that's also one of the reasons why uh, the Mandalorian, for example, it didn't introduce us to a lot of new things and new characters, and and that's why people are so like in love with with that series as well because there aren't these expectations and whatnot. Uh, kind of connected to it, uh, so so going more in this direction, yeah, yeah, I'm 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 excited about that, and I I know already uh, that they mentioned I think that like several years ago now that with this series we, we aren't going to see someone like K two S O until the second season or something, but that already tells us they they have like a greater plan for this series. And then we are going to get like several seasons. And I think there's something about like the, the first one at least being like 12 episodes. And we're getting it soon. Very, very soon. It's it's so crazy <laughs> with all this Star Wars content. And it's just coming at us at a rapid pace. Um, but I, for one, am enjoying all of it so far. Um, and, and the... Being a Star Wars fan, I, I mentioned it up top. It, it's it's a good time to to be a Star Wars fan. But anyway, that was just uh, my first thoughts, quick thoughts on on that one. Now let's move on to the next trailer. Jedi, or the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order. I think it's called Jedi Survivor or something. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. Here we go. Oh shit! Why lead when they won't? What happened? Why? I when you can't win. Who? What is your next move? Who the? Whoa, okay, I have a few questions. <laughs> Coming 2023, okay. That is also kind of soon. But wow, that was a lot of mysterious stuff going on in that trailer, but I, I really like the, the tease there with, with, with all of it. 
seeing the the ship at first and it was uh, clear that yeah, something had gone wrong they had crashed or something and there were no one there and then we have this this voiceover talking and i think yeah that was definitely the the, the power and character that we saw sitting and i don't i don't expect for him to be like the, the grand inquisitor uh, it's just same race uh looking quite different from from the version that we, we, we just saw in, in Obi-Wan Kenobi. But yeah, who, who is it? And how did Cal Kestis get into this situation? And like, they're fighting. And it's about, yeah, what, what, what to do from here? Like there, there's so many questions just surrounding that character because it's in a time period, again, between episodes three and four. And we sort of, you know, we, we know where things end up and we know most, like there aren't many Jedi around during the original trilogy. So Cal Kestis can't really succeed at like defeating the Empire and the Sith or anything like that. So, so where is the story going? And then we have that, well, they, a shot they sort of sprinkled throughout the trailer where, where you saw that, okay, someone in a back to tank or something didn't know who it was, and I, I still don't really know who it is, but when we saw that person, that person like Clara at the end and Kel standing there and looking up at him, someone with with white hair and a, some tattoo stuff going on, and I'm not quite sure who that is or who it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm sure that people out there, they've already picked this trailer apart and there's a lot of theories about it. Um, and maybe I just missed a few things, but but yeah, um, is it in a back to tank or does it have something to do with cloning perhaps? Because that's always a thing that'll come up here and there in, in the Star Wars galaxy. Does it maybe have something to do with a certain clone character from the original Thrawn trilogy and to the Empire? Like, I'm, I'm not going to say too much about that if, if you haven't read those books, but could there be... Could, could, that be something that they're pulling in to, to canon now, like they did with, well, Thrawn in Rebels. Hmm. That, I have a lot of questions about it, but I'm sure I'm gonna get those questions answered when, when we get the games in, in 2023, at, at some point during 2023. So yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to that, man, and, and playing that, uh, that game, uh, the, the sequel to, Star Wars Fallen Order, uh, which I, I enjoyed that one so, so much. I, I wish I could have played that on our, on our Twitch channel, but when I get that thing going again and when we get to the point where they release this one, Jedi Survivor, then I'm sure I'm, I'm going to be playing it and, and do it with uh, with all of you guys as well. That 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 uh, That's going to be a lot of fun when we get to that point. But anywho, that was the... The two trailers that, that I wanted to check out with uh, both Andor and then um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And then we had some, some other exciting stuff going on at Star Wars Celebration. As I said up top, I'm just going to talk about it briefly. Some of the stuff that I saw and that I noticed. Um, I, I watched some of the panels. It's a, it's a shame that they aren't putting out like all of the panels on like the Star Wars YouTube uh, channel, like the, the really important ones in particular, but I've seen some clips here and there and I've heard people talk about what happened, you know, people who were there at Celebration talking about um, some of the stuff that uh, that they saw and some of those announcement announcements that happened at those panels and especially a, a big one being the, the, the Mando Plus panel which is uh, yeah I'm, I'm so excited about how they're going to bind together all of those stories and those characters we saw of course john favreau and dave filoni talking about how they created all of this and, and how they're moving forward with these stories getting petro pascal who, like he seems like he got like the biggest applause and, and the biggest reaction from the audience out of anyone at the entire celebration even like a bigger reaction than ewan mcgregor and, and hayden christensen got it, it seems like. like people just love 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 petro pascal and i totally get that he's an amazing guy and he's 
amazing as Din Djarin. He also brought out the two other people because they are actually three people in total bringing that life, uh, bringing that character to life. Um, so I like that they they did that um, and had all three of them on stage with Pedro and then of course you know the stunt guys who aren't just stunt guys like they are actually playing this character and they're doing all of it together and uh, yeah I, I love that um how how, how that is, is so collaborative bringing out um of course like more characters more people from the mandalorian and looking forward into like what's going to happen in season three it seems like there's going to be a big focus on bo -Katan and just mandalore mandalorians in general and well that makes a, a lot of sense and we're getting off gideon back we're getting Cree, uh, grief karga back and then they also look to well there's this uh, other series coming called ahsoka and that, that was really exciting as well and and seeing uh how it's essentially a continuation of rebels it's like rebels season five or something so like just we're not only getting ahsoka in the ahsoka series sabine is gonna be there hera chopper uh, jason sandula it seems like as well and then they're gonna go out and they're gonna find Ezra and thrawn i don't think we got any casting news about like who's gonna play Ezra or who is going to play Thrawn, but I am still crossing my fingers that it's going to be Lars Mikkelsen at least playing Thrawn again, just like he voiced him, uh, voiced him in, in the animated series. And then just besides some of that stuff, we're also yeah we got some announcements about new series coming. Skeleton Crew from uh, John Watts. That's going to be really exciting. And they casted Jude Law in that series. Huh. I don't know what, what that one is going to be about, but it's also going to take place in a period of time uh, in, inside of the Star Wars galaxy that, that we are more or less familiar with. It was like post-Return of the Jedi again, so it's most likely going to connect to all the Mandalorian stuff that they have going on. And then some more animated stuff that we're all going to get this year already, like Tales from the Jedi... I think it was called, uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, and, and something about maybe seeing like the the origins of Ahsoka. And then, you know, diving into that, then we're probably going to see Plo Koon again, and that will make Dave Filoni happy, at least. <laughs> I'm sure he, he was championing like, getting Plo Koon back some way. Um, anyhow. And yeah, just it's... I wish I could have been there at Star Wars Celebration, but just... I wanted to give my, my thoughts again on, on some of the, the news and some of the trailers that, that we've gotten. I'm so excited about the future uh, with, with Star Wars. And, but what did, what did all you guys think? And, and what are your thoughts on, on some of the stuff that we, we've seen from Star Wars Celebration? And, and even what, what, are, what are your thoughts on, on the first episodes of Obi-Wan? Feel, feel free to tell me down in the comments below. But I think that's going to do it. This uh, video turned out way longer than I, I first plant uh, i just wanted to do like real quick just watch the trailers talk about them quickly but i just i can't do that once i get into a, a groove sort of then i just keep going and keep going and keep going and i kind of need to stop myself so i'm gonna try and do that now <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will be uh, back and talk to talk more about star wars soon i'm sure there's there's so much to talk about so much to look forward to so yeah thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always bye